Wall Street doesn't like turning on each other for profits. They prey on the retail investors. It's their business model. We've heard different hedge fund CEOs talk about this in the past. Holding and watching them burn is truly one of the greatest foils to their business model you can do. AMC Ape. So this is in regards to the new narrative that's been going around for the last few days now, where once again they're saying that retail has to capitulate before stocks can have a bottom. And this is the new narrative that everyone at the top is pushing around as of recently. We've heard this before though, and we're not listening. Once AMC starts to shake up Wall Street, I'm going to do five brackets. 10% will be sold at around 1,000. 20% will be sold around 5,000. 20% will be sold around 20,000. 25 at around 50K and 25 at 100K. This is generational wealth. Comment down below what your exit strategy is as of now towards the end of 2022. Confidence. When Adam Aaron spoke of confidence, in terms of Ape. I believe he was saying two things. Ape will be sold to raise capital for the company. Ape will allow that capital to be raised in the early stages of the squeeze. Adam Aaron is confident that we get our squeeze and that the company is saved. For a time there is one situation was in contrast to another. AMC is continually becoming more stable financially and evolving to prosper, prosper another 100 years. They are holding down Ape and HYMC and AMC to make less money, but they are fighting and losing a battle on several fronts. Buy, hodl, and remain patient. Zen is on the way, apes. There's a lot of correlation in this, guys. Check out this tweet. It says, if a thief steals your wallet with $1,000 and is caught, the police give back the $1,000 to you and the thief gets jail time or a large fine. In the stock market, when a thief is caught, the thief pays $10 fine to the police from your $1,000, keeps the rest and is free to steal again. So this is correlating to exactly how the fines take place to many hedge funds that have committed fraud or other things in the past. Let's say for example, a bank or a hedge fund gets caught committing fraud for 50 million or $50 billion. A lot of times we're seeing these exact funds hit with like a half a million or $2 million fine, and then business is back to usual. How does that logically make sense in any sort of universe? Please tell me guys.